and now on to SIDS. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or just SIDS for short, is the unexpected death of an infant less than one year old. It occurs most frequently during sleeping in infants less than six months. So we want to educate parents on ways to decrease SIDS. Here are six NCLEX tips I want you guys to all remember, and they very frequently come up on select all that apply questions. Firstly, place the infants in supine positions during sleep. This is the most important. Questions love to use this terminology. Either put to sleep on their back in a safe crib, dress the newborn in a wearable blanket or a sleep sack as it keeps the infant supine. We never want to place the infant on the side or prone, which is on the stomach, during sleep. Now, this is the worst and most dangerous position. A memory trick here is the ABCs of safe sleep. A is for alone, so no pillows, no blankets, or any stuffed animals. B is for back, so make sure baby is supine. And C is for crib, so no bed sharing or co-sleeping. Second education point you want to touch on is to breastfeed the infant. We also want to make sure that the vaccinations are up to date and that the environment is smoke free. Fifth, we want to provide a firm sleep surface for the infant. And last tip for you guys is my big no-no list. We want to avoid sleeping with the infant, so no bed sharing, no co-sleeping, as this can increase the risk of suffocation. Rather, we want to encourage room sharing with a crib instead. We also want to avoid pillows and no loose or soft items. So again, no blankets, no toys or stuffed animals, and definitely no bumper pads on the sides of the cribs. These can come loose and increase risk of suffocation. So if a parent comes to you and tells the nurse, I will tie the bumper pads to the side of my crib to protect my baby's head. No, 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 no. This client needs further education. Finally, let's review some risk factors when it comes to SIDS. Firstly, boys are actually at a higher risk than girls. Also, a lower APGAR score at birth. And finally, infants with a caregiver that smoke. So, HESI mentions a high risk of developing sudden infant death syndrome. This would be an infant whose mother smokes and an infant with an APGAR score of 4. And ATI mentions a recommendation to reduce the risk of SIDS in infants. This would be to place the infant in a supine position. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top-tested need-to-know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com.